Hello, sports fans, and welcome to Scott Sports, the Scott Sports 101 uh, NFL Week 8 recap show and Browns recap show. Since we didn't get to do the early games, pregames, and all that yesterday, we'll just recap it and also be a Sunday Night Football recap show as well. And we'll recap all of yesterday's action and the Browns game. Uh, and I'll give my uh, my intake on it and all that. But first, here is today's Scott Sports 101 Week 8 uh, NFL football trivia question. It's a Browns trivia question. Trivia question. Who did the Browns take with their first uh, draft pick in 1999? I will have the answer uh, later in the uh, podcast. A funny thing happened on the way to the on the way from on the way from the way to the uh, uh, AFC North Division Championships championship, and a return to the playoffs for the Browns uh, in back to back years. But they forgot you have to win those games to get there. On Sunday afternoon, they they uh, came up and and. Uh, Lose to the Steelers at home uh, by the final of 15 to 10. It was a day of frustration throughout the uh, course of the afternoon. Browns suffer a br- just a, it was just a brutal loss to the Pittsburgh Steelers by the final of 15 <coughs> of 15 to 10, as I said, and the Browns fall to four and four on the season. It started early on the Browns' first pos- pos- possession, excuse me, which ended with a field goal. But could have ended with a touchdown, uh, drop ball at the uh, five yard line uh, between Baker Mayfield and Austin uh, Hooper forced them to settle for three points instead of seven. Uh, then on the next on their next possession, fourth and inches from the Steeler forty, they ran with Nick Chubb and didn't get and didn't get it. Excuse uh, Pittsburgh. Took the momentum, went back down, and tied the ball game up. But in the second half, uh, even after losing uh, the lead and trailing by five, the Browns had their opportunities. Instead, Jarvis Landry Landry is stripped of the ball and fumbles at the Pittsburgh 20 with Cleveland trying to drive for, for the go-ahead score. Still, they would get it to... Get the ball back and get it as close as the Steelers' 24-yard line, thanks to Pittsburgh roughing the passer. Uh, then the Browns self uh, disintegrated on third and fourth down with the first with the first false start penalty from Rashard Higgins and the second incomplete uh, Mayfield pass intended for Landry. Uh, Big Ben. Uh, uh, Roethlisberger was able to mi- milk the clock from there and give the, St- the Steelers perhaps their biggest win of the year. Uh, uh, the uh, uh, Pittsburgh now goes to four and three on the season. The Browns drop to four and four, and more importantly, zero and one in the AFC North division. A trip to Cincinnati. Looms next week, and imagine an opportunity lost because the Bengals lost to the Jets yesterday afternoon. But there were more problems for the Browns, such as another big injury on the offensive line. Jack Conklin had just come back uh, yesterday and sure enough went down early in the game with an elbow injury. And the uh, and uh, and they had injury. They had injuries on the defensive side of the ball, too. Nick Chubb wasn't the Nick Chubb of old after coming off a, uh, coming off a, uh, coming back from the, uh, MCL sprint, excuse me. Uh, the offensive line giving any, uh, running back any kind of holes, unlike when they, uh, carved up the Denver Bronco defense a couple of Thursday nights ago. Baker Mayfield seems scattered throughout the day playing with that bad shoulder, and he was frantic uh, inside the pocket as well as high uh, and wide on a lot of throws. They simply could never get get into rhythm. 
Now it's time to now is it time to push the panic button? It's getting close. No doubt about it. And even though we're really at the halfway point of the of the uh, season, the division is running away from them. Baltimore sits in first with Cincinnati looming, and maybe Pittsburgh has uh, has an injection of life uh, into their season. The Browns must find answers, at least for next week. Uh, are going to have their are going to have to find a ton more points, a ton of more points. No matter what the Bengals do in the game next Sunday, it's going to take a lot more than just 10 points to come out of Paul Brown Stadium with a win. For now, a packed house goes home kind of unhappy on Halloween Day yesterday. Instead of a treat, they got a trick the fans got. But I feel the Browns, this next game, the Browns and Cincy, is a must win for the Browns. They have to go to 5-4, and four, not 4-5. Four and five. And Pittsburgh must lose so that we can be back in third place in the AFC North and keep winning from there. Uh, I just thought it was very frustrating. And now I must, I got to give out the game balls. And unfortunately, I have to give them to the Steelers, unfortunately. Uh, ben Roethlisberger, 22 of 34, uh, carries an attempt, 266 yards, uh, one touchdown, uh, no interceptions. Uh, uh, Neil, I think it was Najee Harris, excuse me, Najee Harris, uh, <coughs> not one, 26 uh, carries an attempt, excuse me, 91 yards, one touchdown, and... Uh, I believe it's Damian Johnson, I believe. Oh, Deontay Johnson, excuse me. Deontay Johnson. Uh, oh, shoot. Deontay Johnson, six receptions, 98 yards. And I am going to give a game ball to Cleveland Brown, uh, 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 Donovan, Donovan Peoples-Jones, because he scored the Browns' only touchdown, so he at least... I get, at least get to give one game ball to the Browns and that's to Donovan Peoples-Jones. Uh, we will get to the other scores in just a moment. Uh, but right now, it is time to uh, reveal... It is time right now to reveal the answer uh, to today's... Scott Sports 101. Uh, uh, to the Browns, uh, to the Scott Sports 101 Week 8 uh, NFL football, which was uh, NFL football trivia question. It's a Browns one, as you know. Uh, who did the Browns take with their first draft pick in 1999? If you said Tim Couch, you are correct. The Kentucky QB never quite lived up to the uh, billing, and he retired after five seasons with the Browns in 2006. And he did play for Green Bay for a season or two. So I'll have another trivia question on my next podcast, so stay tuned for that. Now to get to yesterday's scores. Uh, first of all, from last Thursday night, you know, the Packers handed the Arizona Cardinals their first loss of the season uh, by the final score of 24-21. Uh, and uh, the Packers got the game balls for that one. And I, you already know from Thursday, because I gave them to you Thursday, uh, actually Saturday. The uh, uh, Carolina Panthers bounced back from that loss. They beat the Atlanta Falcons at Mercedes Benz Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia, 19 to 13. Uh, Carolina just could not. Uh, the Falcons just could not get back into this game. They just had opportunities, but they couldn't take advantage of them. They had a ch had chances, but I gotta give them to the uh, the game balls to Carolina. Sam Darnold, thirteen of twenty four carries and attempts, one hundred twenty nine yards. Uh, I think it's Chuba Hubbard. Uh, 
24 attempts, 82 yards, one touchdown, and uh, I think it's Damon, Damian Moore, or DJ Moore, excuse me, DJ Moore, uh, four receptions, 59 yards, and no, and did not score a touchdown. Uh, the uh, Buffalo Bills just all over the Miami Dolphins yesterday at Bills Stadium, and uh, uh, Buffalo, New York, 26 to 11. Miami just, they had an early lead, but they could not, the Buffalo Bills just took over, and they just could not get past them. Uh, game balls go to the Bills. Josh Allen, 29 to 42, carries and attempts, 249 yards, two touchdowns. And on the rushing side of the ball, he had eight attempts, 55 yards, and one touchdown. That was on, and uh, I think it was C.J., or Cole Beasley, excuse me, Cole Beasley, 10 receptions, 110 yards. Uh, the uh, the uh, let's see, the Tennessee Titans uh, beat the uh, the uh, Indianapolis Colts 34 to 31 at Lucas Oil Stadium and hands a hands Indianapolis a rough, an upset loss. They go to. Tennessee goes to six and two, and Indianapolis falls to two and five. Ryan, the game ball is the Titans. Ryan Tannehill, twenty-three of thirty-three carries and attempts, two hundred sixty-five yards, three touchdowns, two interceptions. Uh, I think it's Derrick Henry. Oh, oops. Derrick Henry. Uh, uh, twenty-eight attempts, sixty-eight yards, and uh, I think it's. A.J. Brown, uh, 10 receptions, 155 yards, one touchdown. Uh, the uh, the uh, New York Jets beat the Cincinnati Bengals 34-31 uh, at MetLife Stadium in uh, New York. And the Browns have the Bengals coming up, and they have to beat Cincinnati next week. Uh, so, finally, I'm going to give the, ball, the game balls to the Jets. Uh... Mike White, who was the Jets quarterback yesterday, 37 to 45 carries and attempts, 405 yards, three touchdowns, two interceptions. Uh, Michael Carter, 15 attempts, 77 yards, one touchdown. And uh, Ty Johnson, five receptions, 71 yards, one touchdown. So uh, this will be a... This will uh, be a one of those. Uh, this was one of those days. The Bengals had opportunities and and they it was close and they they had it, but then the Jets uh, came in and got got a game winning field goal to win it. So uh, yeah, the Giants get the win. I mean, the Jets get the win. Excuse me. Uh, the. Uh, Los Angeles Rams beat the Houston Texans at NRG Stadium, 38 to 22. And Houston, they had opportunities but couldn't uh, just take advantage of it. And uh, the Rams get the win in that one. <coughs> and uh, I give the game balls to the Rams. I give them to. Uh, Uh, Matt Stafford, 24, 21 of 32 carries and attempts, three yards, three touchdowns, uh, and no interceptions. Uh, I think it's uh, Daryl Henderson, uh, uh, 14 attempts, 90 yards, one touchdown, and uh, I think it's uh, uh, Cooper Cup, uh, seven receptions, 115 yards, one touchdown. And uh, Rams go seven and one. Uh, Houston falls to one and seven. Uh, the uh, the uh, let's see the uh, Philadelphia Eagles all over the Detroit Lions, forty-four to six. The Lions only had two field goals, and they and Philadelphia just had their number yesterday. 
And boy, did they have it. And I will have the game balls for you. I'll take a break and come back right after this.